I want him off the street. You're mad? Yeah, I want, I'm beyond mad. These veterans say they were betrayed by this man, another veteran who they say played on their trust. And they say he blew through thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Our Dan Tilkin is here now with the local veteran who appears to admit that he stole from other veterans on camera. Right, and here's the, the DVDs, seven of them, to show he was grilled for hours and hours as his local veterans group tried to get the bottom of their financial crisis. You'll see why they want other veterans groups to know their frustration. I was a uh, U.S. Navy. I Charlie McCarthy. I got wounded in... Uh, the summer of 68, uh, during a firefight. And Doug Burge, our good friends. They are also allies in their struggle to get the Oregon branch of American veterans, or AMVETS, back on its financial feet. Dan, it goes on and on and on. AMVETS is a veteran support organization with chapters across the country. And both Charlie and Doug were there when this darkly lit video was made. The group is grilling their treasure about why their bank account was drained. His name is John Vernon Peterson. The Air Force tells me Peterson served in the reserves for 20 years. On his Facebook page, you can see his volunteer efforts are well documented and also documented. We had massive amounts of money missing from our account. Doug and Charlie say this binder contains AMVETS financials. Several bar bills. Went to the Taste of Asia. Took his girlfriend out to dinner. Experience music. Stanford's. $35 for a candy bar that he bought for 99 cents because it was overdrafted. What's the grand total? Uh, between 18 and 19,000. Money that's supposed to help vets in need. But getting to the bottom of where the money went isn't easy. Listen as Doug asks questions. So what you basically have done here is go make money. Is that correct? Uh, there's national AMVETS money there being deposited. And because, yeah, they only sent one means of payment. So go make the money. <laughs> yes, in this case I did that. What you just heard was Peterson admit he used the group's bank account because he didn't have his own. He said he only spent money from his paycheck or that was reimbursement from the national organization. The group voted to kick Peterson out, but they wanted more punishment. After months of compiling paperwork and asking the Amo County authorities to investigate, Peterson was indicted on 13 charges brought by the Oregon Attorney General, including using AMVET's credit card for his personal use and forging checks. But Doug and Charlie still wanted to talk to us because they want other veterans groups to confront those who steal. We know for a fact that money is disappearing from other places that can go to, to help all these veterans. They're talking about something that I've seen before in my reporting. While a quick search reveals many embezzlers are prosecuted, often charities don't want the public to know. It can hurt their image and their ability to fundraise. According to a study, in more than one in four cases, the organizations did not fire the employees suspected of stealing. The silence can mean the group and others continue to be ripped off. We've been working on this for two years, and Doug and I are very per persistent and haven't always been the most cordial to people when they've told us no. 22 veterans a day are committing suicide. Just think where all of this money could have went to help these people. So John Peterson is also accused by, in the indictment, of stealing money from the American Legion. Now, 
Tomorrow, he will be back in court for a hearing uh, before his trial. A month ago, court records show that he was in, supposed to be in court for a plea hearing, but that didn't happen. You know, and the sad thing here is this is someone they trusted. With right. Because he's a fellow vet. Yes. You trust him. And one of the things that they're frustrated about is that a lot of people don't want to accuse a veteran yes. of wrongdoing because it's politically incorrect. And these folks have fought and fought and fought to get these charges. I kind of liked seeing them push a little yeah. bit. Yes. They had to raise their voice. They needed to get a straight answer. Yep. Maybe yep. some people wouldn't do that. We'll keep us posted on that court. Day. I will. All right, yeah. Dan. Thanks.